<laughs> we'll all handle our stress differently, of course. Women suffer from stress-related illnesses, though, more than men. The question is why and what can be done about it. A local researcher may have found the key to calming your mind. Dr. Malika Marshall takes a closer look. Trying to balance life, home, student debt with work, um, my children. <laughs> There's no question that women are juggling more than ever these days. I think women carry a larger burden. And that burden can lead to a lot of stress. Rosie Gill knows that firsthand. The 36-year-old was diagnosed with panic attacks in her early 20s. Heart racing, thinking you're really ill. The prevalence of anxiety is just twice as high in women than it is in men. Mohammed Milad is a neuroscientist at Mass General Hospital, studying how women regulate stress differently than men. You don't need a neuroscientist to tell you that we process fear different. That's largely due to estrogen, which Milad says plays an important role in how the brain regulates fear. Some areas tell us when to be afraid, while others tell us to calm down. And the area that regulates fear tends to lose in anxiety disorders. Estrogen seems to restore that function, restore that balance. So can giving estrogen to women change how the brain responds to fear? To study that, young female volunteers like this one are placed in an MRI machine and shown a picture of a lamp. When the lamp turns yellow, nothing happens. When it turns blue, she gets an electrical shock to her finger, teaching her to fear the blue light. Later, she's given an estrogen pill to see if she has the same fear response in her brain when faced again with the dreaded blue light. The goal is to find out if estrogen can change how women with certain anxiety disorders, like PTSD, social phobias, and panic disorder, respond to therapy. We can come up with a way that, you know, four or five pills of estrogen over six weeks can make your exposure therapy efficient, and not just for PTSD, but across the anxiety disorders. That's great. Rosie, who no longer gets panic attacks, still gets stressed, but has better coping strategies and try to do one thing at a time instead of just going crazy. And this research could have broader implications and could help explain postpartum depression and the higher risk of anxiety in women as they age. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.